What is up guys? This is not the video I want to make, but it's a video I have to make. Uh, if you don't know, I snapped an axle at the track on Saturday. Um, so, you're like, oh my god, yeah, people are kind of like freaking out, how do you snap an axle? You know, they're worried about, oh, where do I get aftermarket axles? This doesn't normally happen on our platform. And if you go search the MQB page, it has like 18,000 members. There's like barely anybody that's ever snapped an axle. And if you're DSG, it's like, I'm pretty sure 100% unheard of for a DSG car to break an axle on this platform. Um, it's only us manual guys, so if you're DSG, don't fret. But, so, I was doing some bracket racing and with the way that that works, basically the, the person I was racing got to leave on the green light four seconds ahead of me. So I launched the car extra hard to, uh, cause I needed to catch up and pass. And so I could, you know, I was in the semifinals. I wanted to win that 300 bucks. But the cars that were going before me were like, like actual like drag alcohol cars. They laid down some prep or laid down. They basically, they made the track nice and sticky. And so when I went up there and I had bumped up my tire pressure some, so my tires wouldn't really, I didn't do this purposely, but in, in retrospect or whatever, um, putting more air in the tires made it so the tires couldn't like really flex at all. And earlier in the day, I had like maybe 10 runs before that, I had the tire pressure way lower so the tires would flex a lot more and I run uh, 245-45, but they're Federals so they run even bigger. They're more like 250s really, 250-50. Um, they're like just as big, if not slightly bigger than my 19s, 235, 35, 19. But anyway, so I get up there, I go to launch. It was sticky. Um, I didn't slip the clutch really much at all. I just kind of dumped it. Um, all that put together, something had to give, and it wasn't my tires. Thankfully, it wasn't the trans, and uh, I snapped an axle. So I found one already. Um, I was going to buy a brand new one if I couldn't find a used one. Shout out to Paul at Shop That for getting back to me, helping me out. But I did not buy one from him. I actually bought one from a place called Auto Haas or Auto House. I don't know how they really spell it, say it, but it's A-U-T-O-H-A-A-S. They're out of New Jersey. They buy like wreck cars and pull everything apart and, and basically they do part outs. Um, so I got an axle for them from for 145 ship with a lifetime warranty. I even asked them, I asked them like six times all the time. I was like, you are sure that this is gonna fit? He's like, yeah, dude, warranty is like top notch. He's like, we'll even send you a, a what you call it, sticker so you can send it back. You don't have to pay for shipping if it for some reason doesn't fit and if you break one, um, We'll replace it. I was like, sweet. So that's on order. It's not here yet, but I want to go pull the old one off in preparation for when it does show up. Um, I just want to make sure nothing else is too messed up in there. Now, I'm being told I need an alignment after this because I'm taking out like the bowl joint there on the control arm, but uh, we'll see. I'm just kind of concerned on how I'm going to take the axle side out of the hub side because I have nothing to hold. The axle still, uh, I break loose that bolt. Um, I don't even know if I have a socket big enough for it. So we're going to go find out right now. If you guys haven't seen yet, that is my axle right there. Nice and broken. You can see the paint's all chipped off of it and stuff. Um, yeah, there she is. Well, here we are, guys. You can see... A lot more clear now. Sorry, it's not focusing on the right thing. But there to the right. I mean, that's that's half of my axle, and here's the other half laying down there. So, uh, yep, it doesn't look like it hit anything else. But uh, getting this bolt out and somehow holding this side of the axle is going to be a pain. But we're going to try the impact um and just this is just torqued like way too much so we'll see what we can get into i'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it from the other side and get that end out at least so all that stuff was yesterday is a new day um i actually found the proper socket the socket i was using was slightly too big and it wound up skipping once um i didn't really realize it at first because it kind of fit on there weird but it didn't, I don't know. Yesterday was just not a good day. I don't know what I was thinking of putting the bolt and hub 
Um, now I got the screwdriver in the uh, in the rotor in the proper socket for the hub. Hopefully it comes off. And then uh, and once I get that, I'll jack up the other side of the car, get this thing nice, level, and stable. I'll crawl under there and use the same flathead or something and um, kind of hold the bolts for the the inside transmission side of the uh, axle and then break those loose and then hopefully I can just whack the freaking impact on them once they're broke loose and have this axle out this morning. I hope. <laughs> It's moving! It's moving! Ah! Yay! Awesome. Frank, thank you. And uh, I'm gonna whack this baby with a hammer and hopefully it just pushes the axle out. And that's it. Bubba! Hey! We did it! We did it! Give me a high five! Hey! Hey, give me a high five. Give me a high five. Good boy. We did it. Look at that. It's out. Jesus. Ain't that something. Wow. There you go, guys. It is a uh, 24 mil 12 spline. Uh, I didn't have that yesterday, and now I do. So I made it a lot easier. Wow, all right. Now we just got to uh, work on this second half, getting those bolts in there. I might have to remove the heat shield that you see right there to the left a little bit, but I should just be able to stick a flathead up in there to hold it still, break one loose, and then just keep spinning it, breaking all of them loose, and then just yeet them all out real quick. So this has been a fun time. Um, basically I got two M10 triple squares, which is what you need for the transmission side of the axle. I had one set to tight, one set to loosen, on two separate ratchets, and squeeze them together basically, and it would break one, and then I would go, I would spin it, go to the next one, and do the same thing. So now I'm down to the last two, and one's torqued, one's not torqued. So I'm trying to stick a screwdriver through one of the holes, and then a wrench, on the screwdriver before I stick it through the hole. I'm gonna hold that still so I can break the last one loose. And then I'll just impact them out once they're broken loose. And uh, it should come right out. It took me a while to try to troubleshoot things. If I was at a shop with a lift and air tools, um, this, this would be easy. It would be easy as shit, but I'm in my own garage with no air tools and uh, making it work. So I gotta improvise a lot. Um, I tried to get a jack under the car with a block of wood, with a block of wood on the axle to try and get that to not spin, but it would just, as soon as I put a little bit of pressure on the axle, it would lift the other side of the car, since this side is on a jack stand, it would lift the other wheel and then the whole thing would just spin because the other wheel wasn't on the ground, so. Um, and I tried a couple other things, but uh, shout out to Logic, the new album Sweet, I'm about to buy that book today. Actually, supermarket. Um, shout out to Teddy Westside. Uh, he got me hyped up to read it, and I read like the first like 20 something pages, and that shit is fire. Um, anyway, let's get this shit out. Uh, broken axles axle um, yeah you can see it snapped pretty good looked like it bent a little bit and then uh, yeah just snapped what a pain in the butt though what a pain this side was Transmission side was a freaking total pain. Pretty crazy. Well, guys, that's about all I got for today. I got to be at work in like an hour and a half, so I'm going inside, shower, eat. Uh, maybe I'll be able to take the dog for a walk real quick. But uh, when the new axle comes in, I'll be sure to make a video on that. But I don't think it's going to get here before the weekend. Today's Wednesday. 
I already have a video for you guys tomorrow Thursday. This video is coming out on Monday. Um, hopefully by Monday I actually have a tracking number and it's coming soon. But by the time you're seeing this, um, my hopefully my fuel system's in and hopefully the new tune is flashed. So that's what's going down this weekend. This Saturday, I have all Saturday dedicated to getting the new fuel pump, the Wobble 450, getting the intake manifold drilled and uh, the inserts put in, the uh, 925cc injectors, ethanol sensor and a new fuel line going from the pump to the new fuel rail um, it's a big E85 capable line just helps uh, fuel flow a lot apparently um, but yeah that's the plan for this weekend and that's gonna be like probably two or three videos in itself and do one for just getting a new wall world pump into the fuel basket um, which requires some dremeling and um, wiring and then everything going up front taking off the intake manifold Drilling it out getting the inserts in getting the injectors in getting the rail in the routing of the hoses um, The ethanol sensor sensor and all that so stay tuned big things are coming And then we'll have a video as well for uh, getting the Eurodyne Mastro set up and getting a base file going with all the new fuel stuff and then uh, from there we'll have a bunch of tuning videos with the new launch control and the shift uh, just the way the car feels in general and uh, all this stuff there's a lot going and then we'll probably go back to the track and not break a freaking axle and see how the times differ with the fuel system and the new tune and eventually my turbo is going to show up I ordered it probably like eight nine weeks ago now um, they were revising a, well, a uh, oil line I know that much is a, they're going to replace the stock oil line here since it it's a hard line and it can be bent when you're uninstalling turbos and that's causing um, the oil flow to, to not be proper because it's bent and kinked so they're in, including a new braided line, oil line, oil feed line but I think there was like some QC issues with that or something I'm, I don't even know that's just on the rumor mill but we'll see how this all goes um, I'm not really all that upset that the turbo's not here. I would just, because I don't have time to install it anyway, really. Um, I want to do this anyway, like do the fuel system first and the turbo after. But I would like the turbo to be here so I can play with it and spin the wheels and show you guys what it looks like and talk about it. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you're new, subscribe, please, maybe. Remember, I got pop sockets for sale, so hit me up if you want one of those. And I'll catch you on a flip-flop.